Hey guys, it's Saturday, December 8th. Um, it's finals week for me. Um, so I'm going to try and do this all in one go so I won't have to do a lot of editing. Instead of complaining about how stressful finals are, because I'm sure you all know how stressful finals can be, I'm going to try and do some tips for studying and getting through finals week and making it the best it could be, yeah? So one thing that I'm currently trying to do is stay super, super hydrated on water. I'm trying to drink three or four glasses of water at every meal and I'm keeping my water bottle by my desk and such so that while I'm studying I can drink lots of water because that's supposed to be really good for you. <laughs> I think you've probably heard the 8 to 12 glasses a day water thing but then I've also heard people say oh no you're just supposed to drink water when you're actually thirsty and I don't really know but we're made up of 98 percent water so more water can't be a bad thing. Um, some of the good benefits of drinking lots of water. It helps clear up your skin. It can be good for managing a healthy weight. Um, keeps headaches away because when you're dehydrated your brain actually like shrivels and is loose and is that's why you get a headache. So they're good for that. Water. Yeah. Another thing to do when you're getting really tired or you start to feel sleepy or like you can't focus on whatever you're studying Get up, take a break, and do an exercise of some kind. Um, it helps get your blood pumping, and that goes to your brain and helps you focus and stay awake. Oh, you could try leaving little positive notes around for yourself. I know that sounds kind of cheesy or whatever, but this morning when I woke up, someone last night in our dorm went around and on bright pink sticky notes like wrote positive messages like you can do it and like you're almost there good luck with finals and stuck them all along the walls of the hallway of our dorm and it's just it's just nice like yeah I am almost done thanks sticky note that's really kind of you or something like that yeah I don't really know that it's just nice, okay? So, you know, positive thoughts. Another thing, I am focusing, or trying to focus on the fact that this is the last thing I have to do before I get to go home. So if I can just push through this and finish it up, then I'll be done. This currently, me filming this, is a study break. Um, take breaks so that your brain doesn't get totally bogged down. I think it'll help in the long run. No one can sit down and study for five hours straight. I mean, you tell yourself that you can, but how much are you really going to take in? Like, not, it's not going to stick. I've heard people say don't listen to music while you're studying because then your brain, like, associates the information with the music or something and you can't remember it during a test, like you're supposed to study in test conditions. But I get really, really bored. <laughs> So I like to find music that keeps me awake and is upbeat and positive and I listen to that while I study and I think that really really helps. I know that's not for everyone though, so that's just if you want to. All these things are just if you want to, of course. I'm not like a studying expert or anything. I just figured, you know, I'll try and give some tips because chances are you guys are in finals week two and maybe you should be studying instead of watching this. But, hey, what are you going to do? It's a study break, right? Yes, that's what's happening. Oops. Oh, um, keep lots of healthy snacks around. You know, good to have like some fruit. I have mandarins in my fridge. I'm going to eat those instead. Because also I need to eat all my food before I leave for break. Because we don't want to leave that in the fridge. Okay, well that might be it for now. Um, thanks for listening to my sort of study tips. Um, good luck on finals, or if you're done with finals, congrats. I'm jealous. <laughs> Claire, I'll see you on Monday.